first go to the XDA post and check out the latest ROM available and download it. As I said this is only for the S7 and S7 Edge, links down below. This process is fairly easy and feel free to watch the video again and again to understand clearly. Follow the video in the card above or in the description to get your phone rooted and have a custom recovery. Once you have this, download Odin. Unzip it anywhere you like and open it. Now put your phone in download mode by holding down the power, home and volume down buttons until the screen becomes cyan. Once they hit the volume up button and you'll be in download mode. Install drivers on your computer and plug your device in. You should see the COM port in Odin if you're well connected and if you can't, check your drivers. Now select BL and navigate to where you downloaded BL file. After this select CP and navigate to where you kept the CP file. After this hit start and the flashing should begin and be done quickly. Your device will reboot into 12 recovery after this. Now do a backup and I did this on my micro SD card. This will take a while depending on how much stuff you've got on your device. After this do a full wipe that's wipe, art, cache, data, system and cache. Next hit install and then install the ROM on your phone. If you don't have it on your phone you can transfer it from your computer at this point and install. After the installation reboot your device and wait for about 5 minutes. Hopefully after doing everything right your ROM will boot. Now this isn't a full port like I said earlier but 80% of what's coming is here. All the stock apps like the dialer, messaging, clock and gallery apps are all from the new UX. The settings app remains the same as well as the notification drawer and toggles. Battery portion of the settings has also been revamped with the new UX tweaks. Everything here looks completely different from before. Battery life and performance are more or less on par with stock. It's the same thing but with just a different face. More is to come as we get closer to the launch of a Galaxy Note 7. For now, here's all we've got. If you liked the video, please leave me a thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos. Do you like fashion or unique stuff on your phone? If yes, then check out my previous video where I do a review about a unique fashion case. Bye.